Hey guys, this is Ben Consoli for PremiumBeat.com. I'm a commercial director, editor, and host of the Go Creative Show podcast. But today, I'm going to talk about Final Cut Pro 10 and show you how to create and organize compound clips. So let's start with an empty compound clip. Super easy to do. Make sure that there's nothing selected here in the browser. Go up to File, New, Compound Clip. And let's name this Copter Photo. I'm going to save it in the event called Compound Clips. I can create my own starting time code. And I have some options here for video properties. I can have it based on the first video clip, meaning whatever clip I put in first, the video properties will be determined from that clip. Or I can do custom and select from all of the different flavors, the resolutions, the rate. I also have some options here in audio. I can use default settings or custom. I tend to like default, so I'm going to move forward. Now you see the compound clip appear here, and you know it's empty because when you look up, there's nothing here. So let's double click it, and for further proof that it's empty, you see that there's nothing here in the timeline. Now you can very easily add to this compound clip by just selecting pieces and either dragging it down or using your key commands like W or your key command E to append, and you've created a little compound clip here. Now there's another way to make compound clips, and you can do it right here in the browser. So let's select Arial, Campus Center, and Mark O'Neill 1-01. Go up to File, New, Compound Clip. We're going to call this Example 1. I have all my settings here the way I like, and it has created a compound clip based on those three selections. Double click it and look what's inside. Here are our three selections. Something to note, the reason why we have only selections of each clip within the compound clip is because the entire clip was not selected. Let me show you what I mean. When I selected Arial, this was the part that was selected. When I selected Campus Center, this was the part that had been selected. Now, if there was nothing selected, then the entire clip would have appeared. Just a little thing to note. Now you can also make compound clips from within a timeline. Let me open up a project here. And I have this section in this timeline that I'd like to uh, turn into a compound clip. So I select it all. Oops. I select all of these. And let's do a key command this time. Option G. I'm going to name this uh, Campus from Sky and it creates a compound clip right here within the project. Double click and you have access to it. You can make changes to it. And those changes will be reflected here wherever this compound clip appears. So I can have this compound clip in a hundred different uh, projects. And the change I just made will carry through to every instance of that compound clip. So now we've made all these compound clips. How do we organize them? You go right up here to your event. Choose new smart collections, which is my preference. I call it comps. And I make sure that the criteria is based on compound clips. So right now what I have is I have a smart collection that is filtered in such a way that it is only putting in what I want, which is compound clips. I could change that to synchronize, multicam, layered graphics, yada, yada, yada. That is a lesson in and of itself. So we're just going to choose compound clips. And watch, all of our compound clips appear right here. It is super simple. And anytime we make a new compound clip, it will automatically appear in that section. So Final Cut Pro 10 makes it crazy easy to create and organize compound clips. And in a future tutorial, you will see the different ways that I use compound clips. And believe me, your mind will be blown because these things are so incredibly useful. No matter what you're working on, chances are your project will need music and sound effects. Let's face it. And the best place to go for both of those is premiumbeat.com. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.